The cycle of contemporary sculpture at Bobberley Gardens continues with 15 works by British artist Tony Cragg. Born in Liverpool and living and working in Germany from 1977, Tony Cragg is one of the world's foremost sculptors. His work is constantly pushing to find new relations between people and the material world. His sculptures often blur the boundaries between the natural and the man-made through his considered choice of materials, selecting material texture and colour purposefully, while constantly considering the space which the sculpture occupies. Well, um, the work in a general sense, I think most of it's been made within the last five or six years. There are a couple of older works. Um, they are obviously uh, works that can be outside, which is not, it sounds uh, strange, but I mean, works that can exist well outside, that doesn't mean you can uh, use any material. And they have, of course, a certain scale. I mean, they have to register here in the situation. The work, in general, I mean, it's not made for the Bobbly Garden, it's the work I make as part of my, my continuing uh, study and uh, preoccupation with certain forms. I'm very interested in the way, if you look at the nature around us, it's so rich in form and we just assume it. We know we, we, we grew up with it, we're used to it, but it's taken billions of years to make like this. And the things here human beings make are based, industrially anyway, on very, very simple geometries, on very, very simple repetitive ways of doing things. Primarily because it's cheap and easy to do it, you know, banging away, making cylinders and flat things and straight things and whatever. Sculpture is a very rare uh, category of objects where new forms arrive. New forms, they're not useful, they're not for uh, sitting on or eating off or whatever else, but what they do, they provide every new form gives you a new emotion and it gives you a new idea. And with that, it also provides, if you like, it, it's the basis, material is the basis of all language, all, all numbers come out of uh, every term we have, it comes out of the material. And so, in a sense, the sculpture should, in a way, reflect something about why things look the way they do look. This exhibition is an important step in his artistic objective to explore art and its relationship to public space, a concept that has inspired the artist in recent years, encouraging his installation of five large sculptures along Park Avenue in New York. The Bobbly Gardens offer the perfect background for Craig's work as the landscape and natural elements enhance the minimalism and dynamism of the sculptures. The Bobbly Gardens um, were actually from the beginning not just about botany, but also about sculpture. We have over 300 uh, sculptures from classical Greek and Roman times, from uh, the Renaissance and from Bar the Baroque period. And now we continue this uh, tradition, uh, especially uh, Tony Craig sculptures, really enter into a fascinating dialogue with the trees, the flowers, the plants around them, because they're all about movement. Um, and in fact, moving around them, you see different types of movement um, and you see how this echoes with movement of the flowers, uh, of the trees. Uh, this is very fascinating to observe this and this is very accessible to every uh, body. You can bring uh, your entire family to this exhibition and also to see the archaeological exhibition on the uh, Column of Trajan. The exhibition is at the Bobbley Gardens until 13th of October 2019.